Hello everyone, uh, we, today we are talking about the uh, role of lumbar semisectomy in peripheral vascular disease. Synthetic nervous system is formed from pre-gagnonic fiber that exits the ventral root of the spinal cord from C1 to L2 and synapse with post-gagnonic fiber in the sympathetic ganglion near the spinal cord or travel to collateral ganglion. The post-gagnonic fiber supply vasoconstrictor nerves to the blood vessels and secrete motor fiber to eccrine sweet gland. Sympathetic trunk to trunk extended from the base of the skull to the coccyx containing ganglion at a regular interval at each side. In the cervical region, they lie in front of cervical transverse process. Each trunk has a three ganglion. In the thorax, lie in front of the head of Rebsen. Each trunk has eleven ganglion. In the abdomen, lie anterior to the lumbar body with four ganglion each side. Sacral trunk has four ganglion at each side. Lumbar symmetectomy, lumbar synthetic trunk, synthetic chain present retroperitoneal between soas muscle, inferior vena cava, and aorta. Between soas muscle, inferior vena cava, and aorta. Overlying transverse process of lumbar spine. There are four lumbar ganglion each side. Be aware of your return, genitofemoral nerve, and vascular structure. So we have here uh, soas muscle, we have IVC or aorta. And then we have the sympathetic chain of the light transverse process of the lumbar spine, and the be aware of genital femoral nerve, ureter, and structures. Physiology and outcome of lumbar sympathetomy. The resting blood flow in human skeletal muscle is about 2 to 5 milliliters per 100 gram per minute. Lumbar sympathetomy increases up to 6 to 9 milliliters. Exercise muscle up to 50 to 75 milliliters. Therefore, there is no physiological basis. For using lumbar semisectomy for patients with intermittent chronication, being we have a maximum arterial vasodilatation. Semisectomy increases the transient blood flow through collateral by decreasing the peripheral resistance, increasing skin blood flow, and increase skin temperature. So, it's useful in rest pain relief and the healing of ischemic ulcer. Division of afferent vein fiber traveling the sympathetic chain may also an alternative basis for rest pain relief. But the vasomotor tone is usually normalized within two weeks to six months after the operation. This transit effect is due to hypersensitivity of the denervated sympathetic ending to circulating catecholamine. Method of lumbar sympathetic chain neurolysis and chemical neurolysis. A needle is inserted immediately below the level of transverse process of target vertebral body with injection of absolute alcohol. Radio frequency thermocoagulation. Denervation is also possible with percutaneous approach using radio frequency thermocoagulation with a comparable result to the chemical neuroritism. It requires all specialized needles and radio frequency probe. Needles of lumbar semisectomy, surgical semisectomy. This procedure is typically at level or below level of L2 to minimize the sexual dysfunction. Small communicating remi and valve vessels should be divided to avoid the risk of recurrence. There are anterior, anterior, and the posterior approach. The anterior approach is the most popular approach. Laparoscopic lumbar semisectomy using incision 2 cm and the anterior zero line between the costal margin and the iliac crest is also an option for lumbar semisectomy. Communication, communication of the lumbar semisectomy NG of the surround structure like genital femoral nerve, ureter, lumbar pins, aorton, and pure vena cava. Both semisectomy and neuralgia usually begin one to two weeks after lumbar semisectomy appear in up to 50% of the patient. Sexual dysfunction, it consists of retrograde ejaculation occur in 25 to 50% of the patient undergoing bilateral lumbar semisectomy, including L1 level. Filled lumbar semisectomy, paralytic illness, and hyperhidrosis in bartol bodism that remain normally innervated. Indication the primary indication for the semisectomy is primary hyperhidrosis, especially in the thoracoscopic semisectomy with high success rate of 95%. Renal syndrome, the results are not satisfactory as in hyperhidrosis. The effect of endoscopic thoracoscopic semisectomy in renal disease, um, the study reported over uh, 48 patients. Uh, unfortunately, the symptoms reappear again. In 66% in six months, and almost all the patients at the end of the first year. So, we have a limited role in comparable to medication in case of renal 
or vast suspensive disease. Thrombogenesis of the plants or target disease, which is the disease affecting medial and small uh, size vessels them in heavy smoke or inhalation. In a comparison between uh, uh, semisectomy and um, prostaglandin analog, any prostate that's surprising is that any prostate is more effective than semisectomy in completing uh, healing ulcer. And uh, any prostate is more effective or uh, at least equal to semisectomy and relief uh, wrist pain. Peripheral vascular disease, the patient would absent this run off and has wrist pain. Is it suitable for gray gangrene or patch of dry gangrene at those, but not for extensive gangrene, chronic patient, or uh, diabetic patient who has autosympsectomy? Sympsectomy has a positive role in 63 to 93% on case of peripheral arterial disease. Resultant and phantom limb, which is a burning sensation. Um, associated with hypersensitivity and vosomot with the terpenism due to trauma to somatic nerve or has a rule in this article then, uh, reported uh, use of pulse radio frequency treatment of complex regional pain syndrome with an achievement of 90% of pain relief at 3 mountain and 83% of pain relief at 6 mountain which is a good so semisectomy rule is also debatable we have them uh, again is the uh, uh, assessment of the continuous path flow in the foot in patient with critical limb ischemia failed to detect the improvement. Investigator assessed the microcirculation using uh, injection of radioisotope. Lumbar circulation doesn't improve the microcirculation. We have the uh, uh, risk of symptom recurrence, risk of communication, difficult of assessment. The result uh, of lumbar symptomy in peripheral disease being uh, the ABI almost near to zero. With the literature review of 130 academic articles over 50 years assessed the rule of lumbar sclerectomy and then it reported it. Lumbar sclerectomy has a positive role in treatment of renal phenomena, thromboagitis ubertransin, non revascularizable peripheral arterial disease, hyperhidrosis, chronic pain of the amputee stump and frostbite, with a positive effect in 60 to 90% in peripheral arterial disease and almost 100% in case of hyperhidrosis. In conclusion, we need more research. Semisectomy may have a role in making the lower extremity warmer, increase the continuous blood flow, acceleration of wound healing, sweetening disappearance, and pain reduction. Thank you very much.